Hey, I'm Adam with the Productivity Academy, and today, as you probably know from the title, I'm going to talk about how to hide your emails in your Gmail inbox. Now, this may work with other email providers. My experience is with Gmail, so I'm just going to restrict it uh, to that. So first of all, why might you want to do this? Well, for myself, and I would think many others, it's productivity, right? Email, for me, is incredibly useful, right, as a form of communication, but also getting ideas from people, sending people tasks, delegating, or sending them ideas. It's this amazing communication device, and I don't see email going anywhere in the near future. Personally, I want to keep using it, but I also understand my own weak points where if I go into my inbox and I see something interesting, and a lot of emails are designed to be interesting, whether it's um, you know, not maybe so much on purpose where it's a family or a friend and you're I got an attachment or it's perhaps something that is meant to catch your eye. It's got a really catchy subject line. It's meant to engage you. Um, and while that in and of itself isn't bad, a lot of times when we're going in to do something, like I'll go into my email, I mean to look up one email or send one email and I see something that catches my eye, I end up going into that. Maybe I click, right? You can go down that rabbit hole really quickly. So, that's why it could be important to hide your email so that you don't get sucked in and you don't end up going uh, down that rabbit hole. Uh, secondly, you know, if you use focus periods or maybe, you know, you, you uh, try to use kind of the deep work principles, again, you don't want to be uh, distracted and you want to be able to do this. But if you need to use email, a way you can help yourself with this is to keep the specific links to the emails. I myself do this using various programs, but when I have... For example, an email I want to get to later, I star it and I use Zapier to then uh, move that email and it goes into uh, my program, which right now I'm using ClickUp and it contains the link to that specific email so I can click that and go directly to it. I don't see my inbox. Now that's another uh, video that you can check out and I have the link down below. Uh, but just wanted to mention that as a, if, in case you don't already use something like that, that can be super helpful. And last but not least, we all have limited willpower. Right. We don't need to fight ourselves or fight our brain that's looking for the next tasty piece of information. So hiding the emails in your inbox could definitely help that. So you're not having to you know, exercise your willpower and deplete that resource. So here we have a couple of sources that might be very helpful for you. It's things that I have tried out and I want to tell you uh, how you can use them and why you may or may not like them. So first off is Inbox When Ready. I actually just came across this for the first time a week or two ago and had initially installed it. Uh, as you can see, you can install on Google Chrome. And this browser extension, like it says, helps uh, you check your inbox. There's a lot of features you can do. I'm not going to go into all of them, um, but you could set up you know, how many times a day you want to check it or only specific times that it's available. Um, it, it's got a lot of options. So this, I would say, is cool. And for somebody who doesn't already use um, another maybe email management program, which I'll get into in a minute because we're going to talk about SaneBox next. And the way this would work is you just install it as the plugin and then it can do all of this for you. You can lock out your inbox. You can hide it by default. Um, you can set a budget. I like that. Decide how many times you want to check it or when your inbox will show. Um, and, you know, that is amazing. So again, I recommend this for someone who wants to, this feature and is not using another program because the potential downside for this, what I personally didn't like, uh, just because it didn't work for me, I don't think it's a, a problem with the product itself, but there is a signature. So if you're using the free version, uh, you get a signature added to all of your emails and, you know, basically just saying, hey, I'm using this program. And if you want to pay for it, you can remove that. And it's got a bunch of additional kind of power features. Um, I highly, uh, I like to pay for products. And if I needed this, I would, would pay for it. But I found something else that does it that I was already using. So again, I recommend this. Check it out if you aren't already using something for managing your email uh, and, and put it to use. It's very simple. And I believe in here they talk about it. They do a good cost comparison. You know, I forget the exact price. It's a couple bucks a month, something like that. But if it's saving you like an hour, you know, it saves you from going down one rabbit hole and you value your time at anything more than a few bucks an hour, then this is definitely worth it. And so for those of us who spend a lot of time in our email, our communication or trying to, you know, have these big periods of deep work where we're not uh, getting distracted, this could definitely be worth it many times over. 
Uh, secondly, what I wanted to share was Samebox because after I realized, oh, I would have to pay for another program, you know, I thought maybe there's another way. I don't want to just build up kind of the tech debt of having all of these programs that I rely on. I want to use what gets the job done, but also try to keep things uh, fairly simple if I can. And it turns out that with Samebox, I was able to do that. I wasn't actually aware of this future or this feature, and I've been using it for quite a while, but they have a do not disturb. And so what you can do here is set a schedule. Um, so for example, I could have it be on certain days, I could have it uh, be every day, and I could have it start and an end time. So for me, what I'm trying out right now is like 7 p.m. to 10.30 a.m. I'm just gonna cancel that. You can allow exceptions, which is a nice feature. And then the away message, which I took away, um, I just let people know in general they shouldn't expect to hear from me early in the morning, and I don't wanna bother them with sending them an automated response. Uh, but this has done the trick so far. And what this actually looks like is they set up a folder and this is all done automatically. So if you turn this on, it creates a folder in Gmail called do not disturb. And during those time periods, emails come in and they will go into that folder. And then you, if you need to, you could go into that folder and look at them. But then when the time is up, they just move all back to your inbox, which is super handy. Uh, it doesn't mark them as red or anything like that. Um, they just, it moves to that folder and then comes back. So highly recommend uh, checking this out. I've got a article I wrote on uh, using Samebox and, and more of a full review if you're interested in finding out more of that. Um, and the reason I started using it in the first place was I had set up folders and rules and tried this and that in Gmail. And uh, you just ended up trying Samebox to see if it was maybe better. And it just blew my mind how much easier it was to keep inbox zero um, with the way they do their filtering. It was really nice. So anyway, something to look at if you haven't checked it out yet. So just to summarize, remember, we're trying to stay out of our inbox. And one of the best ways you can do that is to help yourself by keeping specific links to emails when you're setting up tasks. If you need to reply to someone, um, if you're working on a project and you need to reference three or four emails, just grab that URL when you're in that specific email so that you can go directly back to it, not have to go into your inbox, not have to search, right? And then use one of these tools, whether it's inbox when ready uh, or sane box to really kind of supercharge it all in the sense that now you can take it a step further if you need to or want to, and that you can hide those emails based on time, based on frequency or whatever else works best for you.